first of all, I would recommend a metal table and a concrete floor. I'm standing in about an eight foot by eight foot area, which I could definitely make work if I was stranded on a desert island. Secondly, let's get right to it. You would need a welder. I actually received a Sears Craftsman welder and I like it. It has been great. I think it's about 25 years old, if not older, and it has just held up. It's nice and hot. It lays a great bead. It works perfectly. And I can also plug it into a normal plug. So welders really hold their value. If you start looking at Craigslist, you can find that there are some welders that are really still very expensive even after they've been used. It's because they're a very simple mechanism, they hold up over time, and they are great tools to have around. If you can pick up a knockoff welder or a Sears welder or a Lincoln welder for three or four hundred dollars, I'd say get it. It's a great investment. If a tank comes with the welder, grab it up. You need to buy a gas tank. Typically, I only use mild steel in my little welders. I hook it up to my gas tank, which is 75% argon, 25% CO2. You will also need welding wire. There are lots of alloys. I prefer to run .030, a smaller gauge of steel, through my little welders because then you can build up more heat. I would recommend getting a plasma torch. You can cut straight lines, curvy lines, wavy lines, everything with your plasma torch, and it's just a great tool to have around. However, it is expensive and it can get smoky. So if you're working in your basement, for instance, it might not be the best bet for you. I would recommend a metal cutting saw. It is very loud, but it is powerful, and it can cut that metal like butter. As far as the plasma torch, you do have uh, components that you need to consider buying throughout the course of its life. I bought my plasma torch used. It's held up for 15 years. It's been so great. The plasma torch also runs on air, so you would need an air compressor as another part to go with that. I have a really large air compressor, but you could get a smaller compressor. You just need to consider the noise. The smaller compressors run and run and run, so it might be noisier if you get a smaller one. My plasma the torch also runs at 220. That's the outlet that your um, washer or dryer is hooked up to, so you would need to invest in um, adding more power. I use this baby all day and all night. No, just kidding. All day. It is running in my hands pretty much all day. While I don't love the grinder, it really gets the job done. It's a great tool to have. I actually have three going in my shop. I do one with a grinding wheel, I'll do one with a sanding wheel, and then I'll do one with a cutoff wheel. You only need one. So then the basic tools that I would recommend having for metalworking is a nice hammer, and uh, for some reason, I just love the adjustable wrench. Uh, this is my main tool. I use this all the time. I don't think I could work without it. I probably could, but I choose not to. Vice grips. I have quite a number of these, but I'd say one or two to get started, to have on hand, to hold your metal in place while you're grinding it or sanding it. These are great. And now we're getting to safety equipment. Clear goggles with my grinding and grinding and sanding. I think these are rated 10 goggles for my plasma torch. And then I have my welding helmet. This is an auto darkening helmet. This can be expensive, but you can pick up a standard welding helmet for a very small cost. For the longest time, I've just used basic gardening gloves. I was going through them awfully fast and they're really baggy for my hands. So now I've moved on to the rubber gloves. These are not rated for any sort of fire or welding. I don't touch the hot metal. I've worked long enough that I know not to touch it, but for 16 gauge material and fine artwork with a lot of detail, these have been great for me. I just am around loud noises all the time that I really, really want to protect my ears, so I would recommend earplugs. And there you go, that's your 15 items. That's all you need and enjoy setting up your shop. There's a lot of tools out there. You can have a lot of fun getting into it and I can't wait for you to get started.